All right. So coming on in the Yzma, the floors weren't perfect. They're nice enough for us to keep it this way for for a little while at least. Um, you probably hear the the AC is running. It's very hot in here, so in order to even be in here, I had to turn that on. Um, this is where the the damage was in the in the vehicle for water it was uh, these panels pretty much uh, shot. Uh, we salvaged what we could, we replaced what we couldn't. Um, let's see if I can reach back here. Same here. Uh, this was another area that just had severe water damage. Um, the good thing about a Champion is they have got a a, uh, a metal cage instead of a wooden a wooden cage or a wooden frame. It's more like a metal cage, a metal surround, and uh, it doesn't allow a lot of, of flexibility. And so when the water damage happened to it, it stayed pretty much straight. We really liked that on that one. But um, the electrical, the all the boards, everything was was shot, so we had to replace all that. So that's all been gone through. Uh, we did convert most of the lights over to the LED lights, which are just they're night and day. These are these are great, especially when you're only running on three coach batteries uh, for a prolonged period of time. Plenty of storage. This is where we keep the most of the blankets for the bed, lower bed, and and. Uh, one thing that we didn't do, we didn't replace the the ceiling yet. Uh, it has got a little bit of wire damage behind it, so we'll be doing that next year. It's not terrible, but it's a work in progress still. This, uh, all the upholstery in here was in wonderful shape. Um, two of the shades my wife needs to put back up. Uh, one of the reasons we did buy this is the appliances were all in good working order. Um, we couldn't find a problem with anything in here. The uh, the water heater was brand new. He put the gentleman put in a year before he died. He died in the process of of doing a lot to this, and he did a lot of the mechanical to it, and then died. So we just picked up where he left off. Brand new heater. Um, a very nice. Uh, suburban heater. It's it's a wonderful heater. Um, efficient, especially for this kind of a coach. Uh, fridge works wonderful. Um, we still need to we still need to clean it a little bit and then paint around the sides. But it's another project for another day. I turn off this AC now. Um. We rebuilt this wall back here to continue on with the theme, and then we just put plexiglass back as a backsplash. Uh, looks pretty nice, and it'll work for now. Brand new microwave. Um, what he didn't do is he didn't winterize the RV before he died, so we had to redo all the plumbing uh, in the in the motorhome. That included the bathroom. Um, so we just got to the bathroom and just redid it uh, from from the get-go, uh, and it's night and day. Um, it was the old wood paneling in here. Now we put on this surround, so the entire thing is um, is uh, waterproof. More LED lighting. Um, the only thing is, is that in the uh, in the shower area. It did bubble in a few places, and that's because the backer board we used was the wrong stuff. Lesson learned. But it will work for this season. We'll probably replace it next season. Right now, that's just aesthetically weird. My wife says it's got some sort of a skin disorder. As you can see, that we use the correct backer board here. And nothing happened. So, 
we'll be using that backer board again. Also, these are not optimal, we found out. These are these self-adhesive strips, and uh, no, these don't work. So stay away from those. The flooring in the bathroom, because they, for some reason, still had old shag carpeting in there. We also, we also put that same laminate in the bottom of our closet. And it's a, it's a good size closet. We, we wallpapered the back of it and the ceiling of it. Um, make it look a little bit nicer. Um, it's, a, it's a good size closet. We've got more. There's plenty of storage in this old motorhome. Or here, it's just kind of stuff thrown in there real fast. Um, coffee maker, things like that. Once again, just the flooring from the bottom of it. Our storage down there. There's storage beneath these and storage down here. Storage up here. Um, these are uh, still need to be gone through. It's, like I said, still a work in progress as we go about it. Um, we've kind of worked our way from the front, from the back to the front of this thing. Um, so the front, we're still in in the process of working on it, so we'll keep that in mind as we turn around and look at it. Um, right now we're just using it for a little bit of storage. Um, but this is pretty much it. Um, we need to redo the, the dash. We're going to do it in the same material as is up here for this uh, for this bunk. That new mattress is in the bunk. Um, he didn't have it set up real well down here. He just kind of put things in haphazard. Uh, that'll be my that'll be my wintertime project. Just kind of reorganizing the dashboard, making it look cleaner, nicer. Um, replacing these uh, older chairs with something a little more uh, a little more comfortable. These are not these are not great chairs. We still have a few lights to replace, but that's uh, it's on the plan. Including these nasty old things up here. Um, you never use these when you camp. Um, not if you like your batteries. These these right here just remain uh, locked for your shore power only. So. Um, we have had to do a lot of work to it because, like I said, no waterization done or winterization done to it um, at all. Every pipe had a problem. Um, we're still doing a lot of cleaning in it. These are these are still filthy, but they do now work just fine. And it gets good pressure. I'm just not turning it all the way. Same with the. Uh, same with the bathroom. So there's that. Um, to get down to the cost of something like this, we really didn't pay much for the home itself. Um, we paid under a thousand for the actual motor home, and like I said, that was reason we even we even bought it was it had rebuilt transmission, an overhauled engine, new water heater, new heater, new air conditioner, uh, new upper air conditioner, this guy right here. The uh, there was no cab AC so it's just this one. The generator was was perfect. The, all the appliances worked. We figured the bones of this was good. So uh, getting into it, uh, repiping it. We, we repiped the entire thing. I don't know if we can get up inside here. I might be able to. Yeah. We repiped it with uh, with all the, the plastic flex pipe. And it works very well. Um, the whole motorhome has been done that way. Um, to replumb it, 
was probably the, initially the most expensive thing that we did. Um, that was probably $250 for the plumbing. Um, another $200 to have the, uh, the bathroom just refinished the way that it is now. Um, Rewiring the lights to LED has so far cost us right around $100. Um, a lot of work was done on my own and by my wife. She does a wonderful job at whatever she does. Um, she did the curtains. She made new curtains for it. She did use these cheap shades because it's, we're only going to use them for one year. Then we're going to end up buying better ones. But you use what you can on a, on a budget and work, build up what you can afterwards. Uh, she bought the the wallpaper that costs her about fifty dollars and so there was here and there of little stuff nothing really major uh, we figure we figure everything into it everything into it even the full propane tank we probably don't have another seven hundred dollars put into it that's not bad um, considering what she is um, but that's about it so um, another video I'll go around the outside a little more let you know some of the coming projects and and uh, we'll go from there so thank you for watching and and keep an eye out for more